How do you get runes in Assassin's Creed Valhalla? I see this question a lot and I was curious about it myself, so I did some digging. And runes are of course these special perks you can put on weapons and armor. And if you upgrade these items to mythical, you can actually put a legendary or diamond rune on these items as well. And there are some tactics in the game to get specific runes that you want. It's still not ideal, but in this video I want to share everything we found so far and also with the help from people who reached out. So, a lot to go over, a like on this video would really help me out. And let's go. I started a new Helix credit pack giveaway and you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. You have to be a subscriber of this channel before you enter and good luck. I will announce the winner from the previous giveaway in my weekly reset video. So there are multiple tactics to get runes in the game and I want to start with one that everyone can easily do and that is linked to the shops in the world and let's for now take the one in the settlement. Because in these shops you can buy runes, as you likely know. And this tactic works if you like boot up the game for the first time that day and haven't ch checked a fender yet. Or if you have been playing for like 45 minutes an hour and then want to check a store for the first time. Before you do that you want to save and then go into the store. Now you will see the runes and the store selection is random by the way, it's different for everyone. And if you don't like the items you see, then just load the save you just made before fisting the store. And if you then load that and then check the fender again, there will be different runes in the shop selection. But the moment you of course start buying runes that you want, you want to make a new save with these purchases. And then you have to wait for the store to reset for new runes to appear. And it's pretty hard to figure out what actually like resets the store. I've tried a ton of things. It's for example not linked to the different fenders in the world. Like fisting others in England doesn't matter. I tried meditating or sleeping. It all won't change a thing. But when you do some missions or go look for some wealth. Take out some soldiers and then come back to a shop after like 45 minutes of playtime then you will see new items. So that's right now the best way to get runes for as far as I've seen. And you do not have to like do anything. You can just stand in front of the shop, leave your console or PC on and then come back after an hour and check the shop and you will see new runes. Of course, if you found a quicker and easier way to reset a shop in Valhalla, let me know via the input at drafter.com email address or via the comments of this video. And a great thing to do while you wait for new runes to appear is the drinking challenge that I know many people reported on already. It's just like fishing, an amazing way to get fast money in the game. Go over here in Grand Bridge Shire and then drink against this Saxon dude. He's like really bad, so you can easily win and then of course pick the big bad option. So you get 400 silver per drinking game that takes like one minute to complete. It's really insane and the money will totally come in handy for buying all these runes. And then maybe after doing this like multiple times and collecting some wealth or just standing still, new runes will have appeared for you to buy. And the quality of the runes that you see in the shop window seem to be impacted by how far you are in the main story of the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, for me it upgraded though the more alliances I got. Because if you are far enough then you will see like great runes, so the best possible regular runes and also one legendary or diamond rune however you want to call it. And I want to touch on a farm tactic or reroll tactic for these legendary runes. But first things first, you can put these special runes on every mythical weapon in the game. Or if they are armor runes, you put them on mythical chest pieces in the game. And in the case of armor runes, they seem to be variants of the set bonuses you can find, but with different effects. So they still trigger from like doing a familiar thing, but they give different bonuses. While the legendary runes on the weapons seem to be direct copies of the perks you can find on weapons as well. They sadly do not stack. Like for example here I put the weak point hits restore some health legendary rune on the bow the death speaker that has the same effect. But then I do not suddenly get 50% health instead of 25 that you get from just one perk. So in that way it kind of works like Odyssey where engravings would also not stack on top of the weapon buff. But it does mean that if you don't like a hunter's bow for example but still want to weak point hits restore health perk then you can just put the rune on a predator or light bow to get the same effect. So these legendary runes have a huge impact on your build and there is another way to get them. And with this tactic you can basically reroll till you get the one that you want. 
And I want to thank Sai for sharing Rune's tactics with me and many people reached out to me about this one as well. So this tactic is about the special order members because they have a high chance of dropping these legendary runes. What you want to do is that when you found one, I for example got one over here in Glowichester Shire, you want to save your game before you kill them. Then take them out, in my case just do a simple assassinate, and then after the conversion room you will get a rune as a reward. But this legendary rune is different each time, so go check your inventory and see what you've got, and if you don't like it, then reload the save you just made before taking out the order target, and then kill him or her again to get a different legendary rune. Then rinse and repeat until you get the rune that you want. I now tried this tactic with two targets and it worked. So if you still got some order members to kill and are looking for a specific legendary rune, then totally do this tactic. Runes that I would recommend that you get is the restore some health on a parry one that gives you 15% health on a parry and you notice because it's the same perk as we see on the Brighton shield but now you can just put it on any weapon in the game so you can get health back with this tactic with every dual wielding combination. Also worth noting is that you can put the rune on your main hand and then still get health back by parrying with your off hand, which is nice. Also great is that even if you did not find the weapon that has the original perk yet, then you can still already get the major rune for it. And Logi reached out to me saying that he actually got a legendary rune based on a perk from a Helix Store weapon. Meaning that you can still get the perk without actually buying the Helix Store weapon, while in Odyssey you of course unlock the engraving after buying the weapon. So it's quite interesting. Again, I would say that the weak point hits restore some health is also great to get or increase speed after each hit that you find on the Varen's Axe, but now with this rune you can put on any weapon, like for daggers, it's very nice. For armor runes I still need to find way more, but I did get the increased speed when surrounded by more than two enemies. So this can also work together with other things that increase your overall speed. I don't think there is a legendary rune with like the Mjolnir effect or the effect that we find on the Excalibur. Those seem to be exclusive to that weapon, although correct me if I'm wrong. I do think that if we find a legendary weapon rune that is not linked to a weapon in the game yet, it just means that there will be a future weapon added with the same perk. But I'm not sure if when new Helix Store items are added, we then also immediately have a legendary rune with the same perk in the game that are just things to find out but of course again your input is more than welcome reach out via social media or in the comments or via the email address and of course subscribe for way more Valhalla content if you haven't already a like on this video would really help me out and totally check out my previous video on settlement level 6 how you can get there and what you unlock for now though I will speak to you next time and goodbye